Hey guys, it's Mal here, back with another video. And what we have today is a video that I've been waiting to make for a long time, and I'm sure you guys have been looking forward to it too. I've also spent so much time making this video the best it can be, so it would really be appreciated if you guys could support me by liking the video and subscribing, all that good stuff. You don't have to if you don't want to, I don't really care much. I barely ask for that and just want to make content that I'll enjoy and hopefully you guys will too. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to give a shout out to Titanium Tendons who actually interviewed me back then asking about different tips that can help people with their accuracy. Unfortunately, that video is no longer available since as some of you know, he deleted all of his content back then but was luckily able to get some of it back. I'll link his channel in the description, along with the timestamps for each tip in this video. This is literally going to be every single tip that I can think of that can help with accuracy. So yeah, buckle up. With that being said, please enjoy the video. Race while you're at it, because this is going to be a fun ride, exploring all the different tips that can help you with your accuracy. I'll be saying what the tips are and explaining them for a bit. I'll also link the written version of this accuracy guide in the description if you don't want to listen and would rather read. For the first tip here, we are starting off with the most obvious one, practice. Everyone knows that good practice will eventually lead to better typing stats. It's pretty self-explanatory. The more you practice, the better your accuracy will become. So just spend like an hour a day or something like that focusing on your accuracy. I encourage you to spend however much time you feel is right each day. How much practice you need just depends on how tired your hands will get and certain factors like that. You never want to make your hands too tired or overwork yourself. That will not lead to better accuracy. I started playing Nitrotype at around 94% and now I'm all the way up here. So with great practice, you will become better. Also for accuracy practice, Nitrotype is definitely not your best bet. So if you want to improve your accuracy, I actually suggest you to take the time to improve on Type Racer. Type Racer works really well because it has very challenging text and it makes you correct your mistakes. The challenging text can just overall make you better at typing harder words and a better typist. Knowing that you have to correct your mistakes too will help more than if you don't have to correct them, obviously. Nitrotype, on the other hand, doesn't allow you to correct your mistakes, and so it really just gives you your raw speed. And even though Nitrotype is the main site that brought me up to this point, Typerser would probably work out best if you're just a more early typist who wants to improve. And just because I'm saying you shouldn't use Nitrotype doesn't mean you don't, you don't have to. Like I said, I started at super low accuracy, but Nitrotype was actually the site that brought me up here. But I'm looking out for you guys. If you want even better accuracy, be sure to check out Type Racer. I'll link it in the description. Type Racer definitely helps in the long run in real life too. Some of Nitrotype's text can be too easy, but there will be some words you may have to end up typing later in life. For the second tip, I'm probably just going to start with the most obvious ones and work my way up, but the second tip is warm up before you race. I encourage you to use sites such as Monkey Type and 10 Fast Fingers because it just gives you a series of random words which can really help get the fingers going early on. You could use any other site you want to really, but that's just my suggestion. If you don't warm up before you race, you will have a rusty start and your accuracy won't be at its best. This tip isn't really necessary since you bring it back up as you go on, but this is for people who want to have better accuracy, even when they are just starting out for the day. Besides, it's what I do, and I want to provide the best tips for you guys in order to get closer to having accuracy like me. You want to make sure your fingers are in great shape so that you can type at your best. So make sure you don't have cold hands and things like that. This makes washing your hands help too because it creates friction in them. Also do it anyway because, you know, we are still living in these times. It also obviously keeps your keyboard cleaner, so you'll be able to type better overall. It might lower your speed, but it will help your accuracy. And we'll talk about how lowering your speed affects accuracy later on. 
But for now, the next tip is all about your posture while you type. One of Nitro Type's pro tips actually talks about this and it works. When you're typing, you want to make sure your feet are flat on the ground and that you are sitting up straight. You also want to make sure that you are in a position that's comfortable for you. If you are typing in a cramped or uncomfortable place, that will not help your accuracy. So always know the right place to be in when you type, basically your typical typing area. For example, right now I'm sitting at this simple table with a flat surface and a chair. This is the table that I do all my races on now. It doesn't take an epic setup to be able to type accurately. As long as you feel comfortable and that you know you can type at your best, you're good. And it doesn't matter what style of typing you use. Everyone has their own typing style. You do not need to change that because that is your own and it won't affect the way you type as long as you're comfortable with it. I mean, just take Penguin as an example. He types with two fingers, yet he is still pretty accurate. So what I'm saying is, it doesn't matter how many fingers you use, what keyboard you use, or what style you use, and as long as you are comfortable with it, you will still be able to achieve great accuracy. The next tip is a little bit of a weird one because it might be better for speed, but the next tip is to not press so hard on the keys when you type. Another one of Nitro Type's pro tips talks about this as well. Honestly, some of those pro tips are actually useful, so you should use those as well. But anyway, when typing, you want to type smoothly and have quick strokes rather than pressing too hard on the keys. Having quick strokes just means you want to switch to the next key right away as soon as you type the current one you're on and not waste any time. And the reason why I'm putting this as a tip to improve accuracy is because if you press on the keys while typing, you might accidentally register it twice because your finger rested on that key for too long. Also, pressing hard on the keys is not good for your keyboard and could result in some broken keys. A light tap on the keys is all you need for them to be registered. What I mean by registered is basically the key receives you pressing it and then it just works like that. You want to make sure you can type calmly so you can keep control. Taking some deep breaths before you start out may help if you feel like you don't feel calm at the moment. If you are in a calm state while typing, you will probably have a less chance of messing up rather than if you feel nervous or any other emotion that may be causing you to do so. For the next tip, this is honestly to me one of the most important and helpful ones that can definitely help your accuracy if you put in the effort. Remove your distractions. That's right. When you are typing, you want to make sure there are little to no distractions around you. Because if you have distractions, you obviously are going to mess up a lot since you will not be fully focused on what you are typing. Music is okay to have in the background while you type, but as long as you're still focused on the words. I know some people when they listen to music and type, they accidentally type the words they are hearing instead of the words they are seeing on screen. So I would suggest no music, but you don't have to. You want to say the words in your mind as you type, because if you do that, your mind will basically tell your fingers what keys to type. This is why sometimes when you say the words out loud as you type, you actually do a little bit better than usual. That would also work, but saying in your in your mind is probably a lot easier because you don't want to seem weird. You will also be completely focused because also when you're saying the words in your mind, That will be the main thing your mind will be focused on, and therefore, you might be getting better accuracy without even realizing. Also, when saying the words in your mind, always look ahead at the upcoming words rather than just the current one you're typing. This allows your fingers to, again, know what keys to type and also when to type it. If any of you are in chorus and sing, you probably know that when reading music from a sheet, you have to do the same thing. You have to look ahead rather than just the one note you're currently on so that your mind knows what note to hit when you're singing. Apologies for the music example. I just wanted to show that typing can sometimes be similar to other activities in life. Just like warming up too. That's basically typical for any activity in life, honestly. Anyway, another small thing that can help remove distractions is that when you are racing, you can make sure that the only thing your eyes are focused on is the text that you are typing. What I mean by that 
is basically don't look at who you are racing. You can scroll down so that literally the only thing you can see is the text to. I don't do that, but again, it's always your choice. This can definitely help because if you see a friend of yours or a teammate or someone like that, you might get nervous and end up choking. Also, again, you can fully focus on the words you're typing. If you see someone you know, you might try beating them in a race and not care about your stats. But I'm telling you guys, accuracy is key in being a great typist. You can always look at who you raced when the race results come up after all. And besides, you can flex your accuracy on that friend you raced, if you know what I mean. During the race too, you should avoid looking at what your words per minute and accuracy is throughout the race. If you do, it could cause you to be nervous and mess up because, for example, you might be close to a new high speed, but you looked at what your words per minute was while racing and got too excited that you started making a lot of mistakes. But anyway, the point of this tip is to make sure you have little to no distractions, which makes saying the words in your mind a lot easier because that will be the only thing your mind is focused on if you have none of those distractions around. The next tip we have is when you're typing difficult words, try and break them apart into smaller bits so it can be easier. So let's say you have the word Mizun, which used to be kind of a difficult word for me back in the day, so we'll use that. You can break that apart into muse and um. This tip might be difficult to do, but if you do it more and more, you might get used to it. When you're doing this, make sure to not take too long of a break between the letters because that will slow you down. You want to take like a split second to do it. Again, I know it seems difficult, but you can allow your mind to focus on the letters you type, just like on the words you type, as explained in the last tip. So when you come across difficult words, try breaking them apart. Also another example, words like photosynthesis. You can break that apart into three different bits, photo, sin, and thesis. Or it can be something different, whatever you are comfortable with. This tip generally helps because you are going to have a better result if you are correctly typing a word rather than incorrectly typing it. It may seem like you're slower because you are breaking apart the more challenging words, but it's okay to slow down on those. You can continue to speed up on the much easier ones and might even get a better result than you would have normally because you decided to stop and focus on that one particular word. You will always complete a race faster not making mistakes rather than trying to type too fast and making tons of mistakes, after all. Remember what I said we'll talk about how lowering your speed affects accuracy later on? Well, this tip is all about that. This tip is obviously optional, and you don't have to do it, as there are many other tips out there. But it definitely will make a difference in your accuracy the more you practice it. What you want to do with this tip is slow down to like 10 words per minute below your normal average or lower, depending on which speed you are more comfortable typing in. You should keep racing at that speed zone while focusing on your accuracy, and when you feel like you are comfortable with accuracy at that speed zone, move up to another one. Some of you might be thinking how speed zones work. They are divided into groups. So for example, I'm typing in the 120, so my speed zone will be 120 to 129. I'll link the speed zones in the description if you are still wondering about it. But anyway, this tip will help in the long run because you will eventually become even faster because you have higher accuracy. Speed follows accuracy after all, so if you want to have great stats overall, always focus on that. If you practice racing at a slower speed zone more and more and finally make your way up to your original speed, you'll most definitely be more accurate than you were before and will probably be able to go faster as well. Then again, all these tips I'm sharing are really just suggestions to improve accuracy. You can do them at your own free will. The next tip is to use multi-line. There are two ways you are able to type the text on NitroType. One is single line and the other is multi-line. But why is multi-line better for accuracy, you ask? Earlier we talked about how looking ahead can help accuracy and that is exactly what multi-line is used for. With multi-line, you are able to look ahead and see what words you have to type next, which will allow your mind to know what keys to type when that word comes, as you guys learned earlier as well. There's not much more to add to this tip, honestly, since we already talked about how looking ahead can help your accuracy. 
But just remember, if you want to improve accuracy quicker, be sure to use multi-line. Practice with it more and more, and you'll eventually be comfortable with it. And to the people who use single line, I understand if when starting out with multi-line, you might not be at your best because you used that your whole career. But with proper training, you will get used to it and might even like it better than single line. Single line is better for speed, as you all probably know, but I'll say it again. Speed will follow accuracy. And finally, for our last tip, we have know you want to improve. You want to basically allow your mind to know you want to improve. Because if you put your mind into something, you can achieve anything. You want to make that goal the main focus in your brain, but don't overthink it too much. What I mean by overthinking is that you might think too hard on wanting to improve and that will cause you to mess up and leave you worried you may not achieve that goal. You also don't want to overthink because when you're trying to improve, remember that what you should be focusing on is the words that you are typing. So if you are thinking too much about wanting to improve, your brain will shift into that thought instead and you might not be thinking about the words you are typing which will again cause you to mess up. It might sound a little tricky, but just simply place in the back of your mind the goal that you want to improve and don't overthink it. Because you already know that you want to improve, but you don't need to think about it. I truly believe that everyone could have great accuracy if they wanted. Some people are just lazy and don't want to improve, while others just don't put in the effort. Accuracy is much easier to improve than speed, because you can be any speed and still achieve great accuracy. I know that everyone who is watching will be able to improve their accuracy today. All you need to do is know you want to improve because again, if you put your mind into that, you will achieve it. You also need to put in the effort if you want to become a more accurate typist because at the end of the day, if you put effort in something, you will always become better. True skill does not come from lack of effort True skill comes from people who work hard and actually put in that effort. Thank you all so much for listening. I really hope that these tips will help you in the long run. It truly makes me happy to know that more and more people are becoming more accurate because of my tips. It's the least I could do for all of you. I hope you all take this as a gift and come back to it every once in a while to use it as a guide for your accuracy. And with that, I will see you all next week. Have a good one.